In this video, we're going to have a look at working with negative indices. Now, what you learn in this video will be really helpful in lots of different ways, um, whether it's preparing to start using some of the other indice rules, whether it's um, making sure that you don't leave your answer um, with a negative index or a negative power, or maybe helping you to evaluate expressions. Um, so, when you are going to work with indices, you need to know what is meant by a base and you need to know what is meant by power, okay? Now, the base in each of these uh, terms here on the board, on the screen, it, uh, it's shown in blue. Now, the base can be a letter, can be a number, um, and the, the power or the index can be positive or negative. But one thing you need to really pay attention to is that the only thing that's been raised to the power negative 5 in this example here is the A, okay? The 2 is just a coefficient. And same goes here, 2 thirds is the coefficient, the base is n, the power is negative 3. So the only thing that's been raised to the power negative 3 there is n. Okay, and that will be important further on uh, when we look at doing some examples. Now, the rule for working with negative indices is if you have a base to a power, and if you move the base and power either upstairs or downstairs, what happens is that the sign on the power is going to change. So if it's negative and you move it upstairs or downstairs, it becomes a positive and vice versa as well. Okay, so basically all that's happening is that uh, you're changing the sign of the power whenever you move the base and power um, upstairs or downstairs. Okay, now as we mentioned earlier on, you've got to remember and make sure that you realize what the base is. Okay, so in this question, in this example, sorry, if we look at the base and power, we're only talking about a to the negative m. So the 3 stays on the top. It's only a to the m, that and a to the negative m, that ends up moving downstairs, and you end up with 3 over a to the power of m. So the base and power, they were upstairs, they've moved downstairs, and the power has changed from a negative to a positive. Okay? So let's have a look at a few examples, and we'll work through them. Okay? Now the first one here, We've got x to the power of negative 7. Now that's the same as 1x to the negative 7. Now that means that the base and power is x to the ne negative 7. So 1 can stay on the top, the base and power move down, and the power changes from being negative to positive. And that's you finished. For the next one, you've got 7z to the negative 3. So again, the base and power is just this bit. So that's all that's going to move downstairs. So we've got 7 staying on the top, and z to the negative 3 moves down, so the negative 3 becomes positive 3. Now for the next one, you've got a to the negative 9 over 2. Now that's just the same as 1, a to the negative 9 over 2. So take the base and power, move it downstairs, the negative 9 will become positive 9. So you have your 1 on the top, your 2 on the bottom, and a to the power of 9 uh, coming downstairs as well. And that's your answer there with a positive index. For this one, there's your base on power, just f to the negative 5. Move that downstairs, you've got 4 on the top, 7 on the bottom, and f to the power of 5 comes downstairs. Okay? So notice that the 4 isn't moving downstairs, the 4 is not uh, part of the base at all. And for this one, this time our base and power uh, get downstairs, it's d to the negative 8. So you would want to move that base and power upstairs. 3 stays what it is, 5 stays what it is, and d to the negative 8 becomes d to the power of 8. And that's you. That's how you would uh, write each of these with a positive index. Now I mentioned earlier on that sometimes you're asked to use this skill when you have to evaluate um, certain things. So here, we know that that's going to be the same as 1 over, and if we move the base and power downstairs, we get 1 over 2 cubed. 2 cubed is 8, so you evaluate that as 1 eighth. Okay? And here, you put 4 to the negative 2. That's just the same as 1 over 4 to the power of positive 2. Move the base and power downstairs, you end up with 1 on the top, and 4 
squared on the bottom. 4 squared is 16, so it's 116. And that's you done. Okay, so the rule is when you're working with the negative indices, move the base and power upstairs or downstairs, and the, the sign is going to change. Okay, the sign of your index, so the sign of your power is going to change. So try these ones yourselves. Pause the video and check back in a wee while and see if you got them correct or not. Okay, so this first one, we've got b to the negative 8. There's the base and power. We've moved it downstairs, so it now becomes 1 over b to the power of 8. Okay, and that's you done. This one, we're going to move this downstairs, so we leave the 3 on the top, and we've got d to the power of 7 on the bottom. For this one, see, there's your base and power. We're going to take it upstairs. So we end up with 7 on the top, 11 on the bottom, and we have t to the 12 on the top. Okay? And the ones where we had to evaluate, when m is 4, well, I'll just rearrange them first, and then we'll maybe sub in m at the end. So that's going to be the same as 1 over m squared, which is the same as 1 over 4 squared, which is 1 over 16. And for this one, you end up with 4 over m cubed, because there's your base and power. Move that downstairs, and that will give us 4 over uh, 4 cubed. And 4 cubed is going to be 64. So you end up with 4 over 64, which simplifies to 1 over 16. Okay? So that's how you would uh, use that rule, and that's how you would deal with negative indices. So move the base and power upstairs or downstairs, and the sign is going to change polarity. Okay, so I hope that was helpful.